All right guys, hunting season's over and I wanted to give you kind of a real life review on this Stone Glacier Chilkoot quilt that came out last year, in the spring of last year I think it was. And then this is the zero degree Chilkoot bag. Um, I'll go over that later. But um, let's go over this Chilkoot quilt first. So <clears throat> first and foremost, um, the reason why I bought this quilt was because I wanted to lighten up um, my backpack's overall weight, and I wanted to free up some space. So that was kind of like the driving force on why I went with the quilt and also went with the, uh, this is that Thermarest Neo Air x Light pad. So I'll give you the weights of both of these combined here uh, at the end of this, but I wanted to kind of jump uh, or go over this, this quilt real quick. Um, I guess the first thing I'll say is if, if you want to want like more technical information, you probably want to go to Stone Glacier's page and, and they'll tell you like what fabric was used and all that good stuff. I'm just going to tell you what I thought of the quilt um, from a guy that used it in the field. I took this quilt on a 10 day backcountry backpack style hunt for archery elk in September um, and put it through the ringer. So uh, I'll just kind of go over what I liked and didn't like about this, uh, this quilt. So. Just to kind of give you the general idea, I'm six foot two, 200 pounds, so I'm not a, I'm not a small guy, I'm not a big guy, but um, it did fit me lengthwise. If, if you're worried about that, it, it is big enough for taller guys, um, but it is a little tight um, in that shoulder box. So anyway, I guess let's start from the, the foot box. So this is the top of the bag, it would be facing the stars, and then this is the back of the bag. Um, you can see that the foot box is sewn in, it's about 18 inches long, which is a nice feature. It's gonna keep your feet nice and warm at night. Um, you're not gonna get any drafts really in that, in that foot box, which is, uh, which is cool. So I definitely like that. Um, another feature that I really liked, again, this is the, the bottom of the bag. They have four elastic bands sewn into this quilt. The bottom one and the middle one both have external electric or electric elastic bands that are fully adjustable by the pull of the strap. You can suck this thing way down or you can loosen it way up. Um, these are featured to allow you to slide your, your sleeping pad through them. So I definitely did that. That's something that I love about sleeping bags and quilts. So what you do is you, you, you get your sleeping pad blown up you stretch this bad boy out, stretch out the bottom one, and then you would just slide your pad right through these two elastic bands and then cinch them down and it's gonna hold your sleeping pad and your quilt um, together so when you move around at night, you're not sliding off your pad and all that sort of shit that, that wakes you up, which drives me nuts. So that's a feature that I really love about this, this quilt. And I also love that feature on some other bags. I, I really think that that should just be kind of like, you know, the cornerstone of any bag. They should all have some sort of way, whether it's some loops or elastic or something to paracord your bag to your, your pad. So when you, when you move or if you're not sleeping on a perfectly flat surface, you're not constantly falling off um, your sleeping pad. So I, I really like that feature on this bag. The rest of the elastic loops come with a little clip. So you can, um, you can completely open this, this quilt all the way up and use it as a, a freaking blanket, or you can buckle these four straps together and then there again they're fully adjustable by just pulling this elastic strap to, to suck it in or cinch it up so you can you can suck this thing down to the point where the quilt is almost you know touching side to side to eliminate you know drafts and, and colder temps um, so that's another feature I really liked about this bag and then up here on the collar up around the neck area of this uh, quilt there's a, a small magnet on both sides, so you can put this around your, your neck and those two magnets are gonna clip together and that's also gonna help retain some heat. Uh, so that's another pretty sweet feature that they have in this quilt. And then lastly, there are two clips around the neck as well. So um, if you want some extra assurance, you can, you can clip these together and that's gonna keep, uh, keep this thing snug around your body, around, around your shoulder box and all that good stuff if you're taking this thing down into some super cold temps. So those are kind of like the, the real quick features of this quilt. Um, I took this bad boy 
uh, from middle of September until the end of September. So, you know, from I think it was like the 17th to the 27th from temperatures in that like mid thirties in the morning and in the, in the, in the, uh, late in the evening to, you know, the, the mid sixties in the middle of the day, which I obviously wasn't really sleeping at that point. So personally, I probably would not take this quilt, you know, down anything, you know, further than what I took it down on that trip into that mid 30 degree temperatures. Um, I had a, a lightweight uh, puffy coat and then it's just some piranha pants that I slept in every night. Um, I did feel some drafts like on the small of my back um, during the middle of the night, but I do move around a ton when I sleep. I roll over on my side and my stomach and then back on my back. So if you're the kind of guy that just sleeps like a rock, you're probably not gonna get any drafts at all with this thing. Um, or if you're smart, you could just tuck in your, some of your base layers into your pants and maybe cinch up your belt um, and you probably wouldn't feel any drafts in, on the small of your back um, if you do move around a bit. So anyway, um, lengthwise, this thing fits no complaints at all. Um, it's a little tight on the shoulders if you have the elastic bands sucked down. Um, but again, you know, the reason why I bought this quilt was to eliminate um, some weight and some space or to create some more space in my pack. So it was to be expected, honestly. So I really don't have any complaints about this quilt. Um, one thing I would probably add would be a hood of some sort, um, just because you lose a lot of heat through your, your head. So, I mean, I guess you can carry a, uh, a, um, a beanie or put your hood on, on your uh, puffy coat, but my hood has that, ex that uh, tension lock on it. So when I rolled around at night, it was always digging into the back of my head, which kind of drove me nuts. So if there's one thing I, I would uh, I would add to this would just would just be some sort of hood, a lightweight hood, just to kind of help retain some heat in your head. Other than that, I love this thing. So let's pack it down real quick. Um, you're gonna get this, this storage stuff sack that it comes in when you buy the Stone Glacier quilt, and then it's gonna come with this compression sack. So let me cram this thing in this compression sack real quick, and I'll show you. Um, how small this thing can get and, and then what the weight of this quilt is in the stuff sack and the weight of the sleeping pad to kind of give you an idea of what you'll be working with here. So. <clears throat> All right, so we're in the, it's in the stuff sack now. This is a 48 ounce Nalgene. And here's your quilt. So it's basically the same height as the Nalgene bottle, um, but you can see it's, it's got a little bit more width to it, but all in all, packs down pretty small, which is awesome. And then this is that Thermarest pad. It is about the same exact height as that Nalgene bottle as well. Pretty much same width, a little bit bigger, but not by much. So you can see these two pieces are pretty small and packed down nice and light. So this is also the long version of this pad, which is, uh, which is nice if you're a tall guy. So anyway, let's throw this stuff on the scale and I'll give you kind of a total weight here. So the pad is gonna come in at, let's go like that. Right at one pound, so pretty freaking lightweight. And then the quilt. Come on. We're at one pound, seven ounces in the stuff sack. So you could probably shave a couple ounces off um, if you don't use the stuff sack, which I don't use the stuff sack. First thing I put in my backpack is my, my sleeping bag or quilt. And I just cram it in the bottom and it opens up my pack nice and wide. And, takes up all that void in space. So anyway, you're under three pounds with this entire setup, which is awesome. I love this, this setup. I'll definitely be using this again. Um, early archery, high country mule deer with a bow in August, September, um, hunts like that, maybe even spring bear later into the season, depending on you know weather conditions and whatnot. But anyway, uh, that's, that's the quilt and the Thermarest uh, Neo Air X Lite. So let's jump into the zero degree uh, bag. This is the Stone Glacier Chilkoot Zero. 
this is a bag that I've had for a while that I used for um, obviously mid and late season hunt. And I love this thing. It's freaking bomb proof. The downfall of it is it's, it's huge, it's, it's heavy, and it takes up a lot of space in your backpack. So um, if you're a guy that's kind of looking for that do-it-all bag, you might look into the Stone Glacier Chill Coot 15 degree that you could either pair with like a, a heavier weight puffy coat and some puffy pants and take that bag into some low temps. Or, you know, during September hunts, you can just sleep with it you know, slightly open to, to let some heat out. So that might be an option for a guy that's looking for like a do-it-all bag. I personally kind of like having options for different types of hunts. Um, I didn't buy all this stuff right off the bat. I've been, I've been at this for a while. So um, I just got this quilt obviously this year and I sold some of my other gear to buy that quilt. So don't feel like you got to do this all at once. You can accumulate pieces throughout the years and then just kind of mix and match your kit depending on what hunt you're going on. But Anyway, um, let's get into this bag. So I'm six foot two again. Um, this thing will fit a guy, I think that's six foot five, no problem. There's plenty of space in this bag. It's got a big wide shoulder box. As you can see, it takes up the, the whole width of this table here. It's also got a big foot box. So you got lots of room to move around. The zipper uh, is double sided. So it's gonna open and close from inside and outside the bag. And it also zips up all the way to the head. So you can see that you can really retain some heat in this bag and it's also got some tension locks here that you can cinch down to suck the, the hood over your, your, your whole body and almost enclose the entire bag. Um, I really have no complaints about this bag. It's the only thing is, you know, it's just, it's just a big bag. It takes up a lot of space. So um, that's something to keep in mind if, you're, if your backpack, you know, is 5,000 cubic inches and you're going on like a, a five or six day hunt. By the time you stuff this in your bag, a couple days worth of food, your pad, some extra gear, your bag is gonna be pretty much exploding at the seams. So keep that in mind when you're uh, looking for a bag this, this spring or this fall for your hunts. And I always pair this bag with this Q-Core SLX sleeping pad. I have the 25 inch wide by 78 inch long one. I think this is the uh, wide long version. I love this, this uh, pad. I've had this pad for four years. No leaks. This thing's bomb proof, super comfortable. This is a, definitely a do it all type of pad that I would take on any hunt. But anyway, let me put this uh, zero degree in the stuff sack and then we'll weigh this, uh, this set up just to kind of give you an idea of of the weight difference and uh, the weight difference and the size difference. So, all right. So, here is the zero degree chill coot, and here is the quilt. As you can see, there's a huge difference in size on these bags. This chill cute quilt packs down to almost nothing. It's pretty small. It's a lot shorter, just overall a lot smaller. And then here is the Q-Core SLX pad. So I think we were at like 2.7 pounds for the kind of the early season setup. Let's see what this uh, zero degree setup comes in at. Okay, so the, the, the bag itself is two pounds, 13 and a half ounces, two pounds, 14 ounces with the stuff sack. So, I mean, this bag alone weighs more than that, that whole setup. And then here is the sleeping pad. We're at one pound, eight ounces. So, you know, just under four pounds with this setup and, you know, around two and a half with this setup, much smaller. The quilt is much smaller. So it just kind of depends on, you know, what you want. Um, anyway, I hope this video helps you make a choice on some of your gear that you might uh, be looking at buying for future hunts or future, uh, future pads. If you have any questions about this stuff, like more specific, more detailed questions, leave them in the comments below. I always try to get back to everybody on the channel. And uh, also, we just dropped some new merch on our website. So this is one of the designs, Live Now Dilator. 
hop on the website. There'll be a link in the description below. Check out some of our new hats, our new, our new sweatshirts, new t-shirts, and uh, snag something. If you order over $75 worth of stuff, use code ELK at checkout, and you'll get free shipping off the website. And uh, if you're looking for some gear, uh, some, some tents or whatever, dehydrated food, a new backpack, boots, you name it, head over to Go Hunt's Gear Shop and use my promo code over there. It's just Mountain to Coast. It'll be in the description as well. And save some money. I think you're going to get 10% off pretty much anything you put in your cart. So definitely take advantage of that. And uh, yeah. Also, lastly, if you want to see any other gear re uh, review videos, let me know. I'm going to be making videos like this throughout the winter to kind of keep me busy. So if there's something specific you want to see and I have it or something similar, I'll drop a video for you. So leave that in the comments below. And again, I appreciate your support. Thanks, guys.